Greetings fellow editors! Excalibur now allows the match frame to source sequence. And reverse match frame as well. As you might know, when you use match frame command in Premiere Pro, it will show you the same frame in original media file. However, if you use string outs or pancake editing method, where you create source sequences, from which footage will be added to master sequence, match frame won't work with the source sequence. That is where Excalibur will be useful. For match frame to source sequence command to work, you need to load source sequence in source monitor. If you have multiple instances of media in source sequence, just activate command again and playhead will jump to next match frame. To make it faster, I will assign a shortcut to it. If source monitor is opened in timeline, it is still going to work. You might have multiple source sequences that you work with. Just load them in source monitor and Excalibur will run through all of them to find matching frame. Reverse match frame will match frame from source to master sequence. If you have just media file in source monitor, it's still going to work. Also notice that in contrast to native Premiere Pro's reverse match frame, Excalibur reverse match frame will also match to audio files. Position, scale, rotation, volume and similar commands now have add or remove keyframe option. It works the same way as in After Effects. If there is no keyframe at playhead position, it will be created. If stopwatch is disabled, it will be enabled and keyframe will be created. Now you can create better user commands where you don't need to think of stopwatch state. Speed command allows to change clip speed without changing its duration. Now there are three options to choose from. Change speed, the way it worked before, Change speed and duration. Duration is linked to speed change. Change speed and duration. Ripple edit. Trailing clips will shift left or right depending on duration change. In Excalibur, you can move playhead just by typing numbers in search bar. But user commands didn't have access to this feature. It is possible now with move playhead command. You can use time code format, frames, calculation signs. This will allow to create keyframe automations much easier. That is all. Thank you.